Hello, my name is Visor, and welcome to game 39 of Let's Play Game Dev Tycoon. Last episode, we made a game called Little Tortilla Boy, and it's probably not going to do all that well. We made some money, but it's not really enough to keep funding all our research and stuff. Anyway, since last episode, I also trained up Marcus to be a dialogue specialist. This, of course, is all prep for our eventual Deus Equis RPG. Anyway, so for this episode, the game I'm going to be making is called... Luigi's Chainsaw Roundup. This idea is partly from Petrol Blue and partly from the random name generator we did a while back. Anyway, the idea is, that's it, Luigi's had enough. Constantly being dragged out by his brother when his girlfriend gets wasted and ends up at some other dude's house. And now, plagued by ghosts and still expected to be a happy goofball? Well, no more Mr. A Nice Guy. Grab that chainsaw and herd up all those troublemakers into a variety of fully customizable basements where you can keep them out of harm's way. Includes over 30 unlockable skins for a Luigi. Peggy 18, which I believe is the UK rating system. Basically be rated mature in the United States. So I guess we'll do this. Probably just do a large game again. Triple A games, yeah, I haven't, I don't feel very comfortable with them yet. We'll do Luigi's chainsaw roundup. What kind of genre would this be? Hmm. I'm guessing action. As for topic, um, well, we do have some ghosts, I guess. I don't think chainsaw is a topic. Pretty sure it's not anyway. Mm hmm. Well, not doing zombie. Horror? Maybe horror. Do we have psychological or anything? You know, if this was in alphabetical order, that'd be a lot easier. I kind of liked it more when I think it used to be in alphabetical order. No, no, it used to be in random order as well. No, that didn't help. If this was an, an, an alphabetical order and these unlocked randomly, that would be nice. This thing, I don't know, it's just kind of a pain. But I'm pretty sure I can only do horror. Okay, well, doing a horror action game then. Horror. Anyway, let's look at our data. Action game. So we know the play system three is probably good. I mean, the PC is not bad either. And we could go mature. Actually, I don't know whether the Play System 3 can do mature. It should be able to though. I mean, it's a PS3. So let's do Play System 3, uh, PC. Did the market share really improve? It's only 10.2. Is that really an improvement? I guess it might be. I don't know. I'm definitely not using the Woo though. So. We'll do all three of these. Need to make a lot of money after all. This is an action game. How important are graphics? I think it was pretty important, so let's go with that. So we're going all in on graphics. So far, I guess that's a good initial start. I'm not actually sure whether this means anything. I just hope it's, you know, not terrible. So for the stage one, storing quest is not important. Engine is super important. I'm pretty sure engine is anyway. So we'll leave Jennifer on storing quests. I don't know whether it's important or not. We're not putting uh, Marcus here though. Let's put Aren't here for now, I guess. Because I mean, he is a dialogue specialist. I know, you know, dialogue's not important, but I'd rather put him on it to see what happens. Also looks like hardware's about to finish, so that should be interesting. Anyway, let's cut off just do simple cutscenes. Yeah, that'll do. Gameplay is fine. Engine work. Let's try to select all the stuff. Mm, not quite. So, yeah, that'll do. All right. Excellent. We have a hardware lab now, which means we can make our own gaming console. It's not cheap, and it'll take a few years. Huh. Well, we'll see. Yeah, let's open it. We might not use it immediately, but I'm okay with that. Looks like we can set a budget for the hardware lab as well. But first, I want to do some marketing. Let's do a small campaign. Now, let's check out the lab. What do we have here? We can develop a console. Take a lot of money. Okay. And we have to pay our crew. Okay. So, there's a quality assurance budget that goes up to... 30 million. No. 
I guess that's only 19 million. And then we can go through all these variations. But let's say we do this. And then we can pick features. If we want to select all the features, we would have to spend... How much? Wow, this is expensive. Okay. Huh. Yeah, this is uh, kind of expensive. Definitely don't have that much money. And we have to set a budget, so I'm assuming that they like have to fix consoles or something. I don't know. We might consider this if we make a lot of fucking money. Otherwise, probably not. Anyway, back to development. So far, we're going really high in technology, which is great. Exactly what we want. Oh, I probably hit some boosts. They're currently doing gameplay. Who did I put in gameplay? Those aren't. And I'll hit Jennifer as well, just because it might do something. Uh huh. Oh, G3 is coming up. Let's do large booth. And actually, I add a lot of design points, despite it not being that important. That's fine, though. Anyway, dialogue, not important. Guess something like this. We'll put Marcus here. Everything else is about right. Do all the AI stuff. Level design. Can't quite do everything. Let me... That. There we go. And then no dialogue tree and that'll do. So we'll hit Marcus. Then we'll hit Michelle. Then we'll hit... Who's the last guy? Jonathan. Yeah, that'll do. So far, the mix looks about right. It should be more technology heavy. I don't know how tech heavy it should be, but it's probably around target. We already have 200 research points, though. That's nice. That means we can get another specialist next episode. And then after that, we can start working on our next game engine, which we need. Actually, no. Next episode is game 40. No, we have time then. Yeah, that should be fine. Number one booth again. That's good. We actually don't have a million fans. I think we're a little under right now. But that's fine. We'll get above a million this time. Anyway, for stage three... Well, we know graphics is important. Sound is not important. World design is not important. Well, I mean, sound's important, just not as important. In terms of... We can do all the graphical stuff, which is fine. We can do all the sound stuff, which is good. As for the world design... Do we... I don't think we need a night and day cycle. I don't... Do you, you don't see ghosts during the day. Let's do rich backstory then. And it can't be open world. We're doing customizable basements. Literally not an open world. So how are we going to divide this up? Well, we have visor, so that'll do. And... Ooh. Hmm. Can't put Michelle Fuller here. We could put... We could put Marcus, I guess. Yeah, that works. Though, since this is more important, let's put Visor here and Marcus here. Yeah, that makes sense to me anyway. There's a resurgence of the PC market. Indie scene. Okay, so the PC market will start growing, which is... I guess that's good. I was kind of confused because I thought the whole point of making Steam was to improve the PC market and it didn't seem to do much. Anyway, we'll check it out next episode. This game seems to have some, a lot of weird pausing issues after menus now. That's kind of bizarre. I'm not sure if this is due to the previous update which enabled mods or what. Okay, so the Ouya is out. I doubt it's going to do well, so not too concerned about that. Wow, Red hit 300 research. Interesting. We can probably start working on our new game engine as well then. At least research a few topics, get stuff out of the way. Oh, I should have boosted more people, shouldn't I? Oh well. In terms of new records, I don't think this sets any new records. Maybe in technology, but I don't believe so. Hype looks pretty good though. 531? Not bad. 
I wonder if I should start doing... Oh, what's this? Old engine? Hmm. Is this really our older game engine? I thought this was our current game engine. Whatever. We'll give it away, I guess. We plan to make a new one anyway. We gained... 20,000 fans? Yeah, that's alright. Could be better, I suppose. Actually, I think this balance isn't good, though. This design's actually really close to technology. Oh, well. Finish. Ah, we did get a new tech record. Nice. Bunch of stuff leveled up. Maybe we get some more research. Salary increase, whatever. Self-learning AI. Finally. I've been waiting to research some AI stuff because we need it. We only got, like, better AI and AI companions. Finally. That's good. And wait. Let's see those reviews. Eh, uh, seven. I guess it's all right. Nine. Nice. So this might be around an eight, I guess. Ah, horror and action is a great combo. Nice. Nice. So this is an 8.25, I guess. I'm pretty happy with that. Made it on three systems, so hopefully we make a fuck ton of money. So, let's wait for the final game report and the final sales numbers. Alright, so first up is the game report, and we actually learn a whole lot. Turns out, horror and action is a great combination. Gameplay is quite important. Graphics is very important. Which we did, which is good. The platform and genre match for the action in Inbox 360 is great, which I think we already knew, or at least expected. The audience and platform match, Mature and PlayStation 3, is only good, which we all sort of suspected and might not have been great. Which, eh, it's alright, it's still good at least, right? And finally, Mature and Horror is great. So, that looks pretty good. So, let's look at the final sales numbers. And as we can see, we made quite a lot of money. 57.9 million dollars. This is not our best selling game, but this is very, very good. I think our previous normal was around maybe 40 million. This will help fund our continuing research. Though technically the only research we have left now is game convention. So we might not do that anymore. Instead, maybe we'll start putting money towards say, I don't know, making a new game console. Maybe that's something else we can do for game 42. Additionally, we gained 120,000 fans, roughly. So that's pretty cool, right? Definitely above a million fans now. So next episode, we're making another game, probably also trying to get enough research points to research a new game engine, since apparently we just gave away our current newest engine. That just happened. Plus, maybe we'll make strides towards making a new console. Either way, though, that's it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.